Hey, coaches, would you guys like to learn how to use Huddle more efficiently? If your answer is yes, stick around. Coach E here, and welcome to 8-Man Breakdowns. With today's episode, I'm going to be kicking off my new How to Use Huddle video series. In my first episode of this series today, we'll be diving into using annotations and notes in your team's weekly video game plans and scouting reports. So Huddle seems to be the main standard for football film, uh, and it honestly has been for a while now, probably a little over 10 years, I'd say. I remember, I know I did not have it when I was, until my senior year, we had it at high school, and I loved it. I, I just got like a, an iPhone 4, I believe it was, my senior year. I went from having a Samsung flip phone my sophomore and junior year until having an iPhone my senior year, and... So then with having an iPhone, I could download the Huddle app, and I had it, and I was watching film all the time. And I, I fell in love with using the Huddle app uh, as a senior. So and, – and it just kind of revolutionized the football film, just the way it's been done. It changed everything because prior to that, we were always having team film on Mondays and Saturday mornings. Monday morning – or Mondays before practice, we'd, go, we'd watch film for about 30, 40 minutes. And then on Saturdays – uh, mornings after the game we'd get together in the morning for about an hour or so and we had to pop the video into the dvd player and the coach would control it and we'd only end up watching about 30 minutes of game film or not even 30 minutes we'd, we'd spend 30 minutes watching maybe five minutes game film because you had rewind pause rewind and you push the back button on accident or you push the main menu screen on accident on the on the remote and then before you knew it, you had no idea where you were in the video and what you were watching. So Huddle and the video clips definitely revolutionized the way football film has been shared and used definitely today. But so, but anyways, what I'm getting at is it is, even though it's the standard, it's, it's, it's changed so much. So with, with that being said, though, even though it is the standard, since this is a how-to series, I'm going to start with a quick walkthrough of some of the basic steps to getting started on Huddle especially uh, for any coaches that might be new to using Huddle or if they're, they've only been players before on Huddle and now they're coaching and they've never seen it from the coaching side. So let's get into it here. Step one is open up your Huddle video library. So after you've booted up your computer, logged into your Huddle account, the first step is to go to this upper left-hand corner here and click on the video drop-down arrow, and then it'll take you those, the, the next – option will be the library tab. So this is just assuming you already have your video ready to view in your library. So that's step one though, go into the huddle video library tab. Step two, select your video playlist. So after opening up the video library tab next, click on your video playlist on the right hand side. So tabs are sorted by season, then it goes uh, opponent, then it goes game film, practice film, and opponent film. In this case, I have opponent scout uh, film here, and I've clicked on uh, uh, example here, playlist. So on that right-hand side, after you've gotten through all that, go ahead and click on the playlist that you wish to add annotations and notes to. That's step two. Step three is our step that we're going to dig into a little more. Begin adding annotations and notes to your selected video playlist. So now I'm going to move over to Huddle and actually show you how to begin adding annotations and notes uh, to your playlist as seen in this image here. All right, let me switch over. So I've got Coastal Carolina offense here. I did a video on them recently and still have the video up on, on Huddle. And so I'll walk through using annotations and notes here. So the annotations and notes are all right here, right on the screen. And you can, you can create these on an iPad and on your iPhone if you still use Huddle on your iPad or iPhone um, at times, but it's much easier um, to use it on a laptop or computer. So first, let me show you. So here I got counter triple. So if you haven't watched my translating to eight man video episode of Coastal Carolina's offense, I'll leave a link of it here. Or I'll put a put it a pop up on the screen here so you can check go check that out as well. So let me let me get these annotations on here. So first of all, I guess though, let me walk through that. First, you have an option for a straight line, and you just click and hold until you want to let go. Then you have an arrow option. Then the third option is a blocking option with the little line at the end to show it's a block. And then my favorite option is just the scribble option. 
And then, of course, if you want to erase it all, just push the undo button there. So here I'll show the play and play art here of where they're going, at least what I think they're going anyway, if I remember right. Let's see. He's got a block back there. He's going to release in there. And the read, I'll highlight him with the circle. So those are the options there. You have a scribble or annotation drawing. Then you have your text textbook or text box um, that you can put on there. And then you have your highlight or spot, circle spot that you can add to it. So here, this is what I would do for a play. If I could say, I would say like, for example, here, I'd say, this is how it should be blocked. Say we say we blocked it wrong or something. That's just an example. All right. So then let me run the play through. So there you go. Um, the center has a tough block here. I said that in the other video as well. He And he's got a block back on that nose tackle. And I, I would say, let's say just another example, annotation and note here, highlight and note. Let's say. I'd say have your eyes eyes up sooner. Be ready. Eyes up and hands up sooner. Be ready to move immediately or something like, or try to be quicker off of this. I mean, this is a tough block, so you got to be as fast as you can, something like that. But that's just to give you another example. I mean, he does a good job. He gets on him, and he doesn't make the play. So, you know, how, you can't really complain. But like I said, these are just – ways you can add notes and stuff to it. So let me show you one more thing here on the next slide. Let's say um, for a couple other, oh, I already have some examples on here. So there you go. Here's your read guy and say, you see how he stepped in, great read. And then good pitch there, nice block on the edge. And then finish it off with the touchdown. So great execution all around. And these are, like I said, these are just examples of things you could say to your team. team. And this is another way that on, let's say you assign them, you send these out to them and you assign them and say, you send out a text or group message and say, this position group needs to watch the film by Sunday night or whatever. And then on Monday morning, if you have them in a PE or weights class or whatever the case is, or if you, if you see them at all, then you say, Hey, what did you, what'd you think on, or what did you get my note or whatever the case is? Um, this would be a way you could quiz or test them and make sure they are watching that game film in their free time. All right, so there you go. That's kind of how you can add notes and annotations to your playlists. So let me move back here. So finally, the final step here, after you've added all your annotations and notes to your entire film and break, broken it down completely, the last step is to click the right or click the share button in that top right-hand corner um, to share your final final product with your selected position group players or coaches or the entire team or whatever it is, whoever it is you share it with. The reason you have to click share though, again, is because even if you did share the whole film to the entire team already, and now you went and added your annotations and notes, if you don't share it after you've put your annotations and notes on there, nobody will be able to see it except for whoever put those on there. So if you're the one that adds annotations and notes to each game film, and then you haven't shared it, no one's going to see it other than you. So that's why this is the final step, sharing your annotations and notes with, with that share button in the top right-hand corner. And with that, I'm going to wrap up my first episode of how to use Huddle. Remember, if you guys have any questions for me, be sure to comment your question on this video, and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. If you enjoy this type of video, check out my previous videos here on the screen. Remember, it's all free. And again, Thank you guys for watching.